Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. October 23rd and Grant and I are settled in for the evening. We've got some tough conditions tonight with uh, some swirling winds. They're not really swirling, but just switching directions. Um, this started the evening with the southeast and the forecast is to have it go all the way around to a northwest by dark. It's uh, kind of southwest right now, so we're at least in the westerly. The southeast is not good for the spot. I kind of wish I would have actually waited an hour to get into the stand, wait for that wind to become more westerly. Hoping we didn't do too much damage uh, during that first half hour, 45 minutes. Primary target tonight would be Merino or Gurley. Um, I haven't pulled this camera that's on this, this plot in uh, quite a while, so I don't know if they're using this area. Um, but it looks like there's quite a few deer using this. Uh, you can see the big and beastie that did really well, and there's a lot of half-eaten turnips out there. So I'm hoping we see a good number of deer tonight. I think the conditions are gonna be better the next couple of days, but uh, we wanted to come out and try it tonight. There's actually a couple other targets too uh, for Grant who has his bow uh, behind the camera right now. And Grant actually had a really good hunt on a small property he got permission for last night and got really close. All right, it's October 22nd, and we have less than ideal conditions to say the least. We made a last minute decision to come to this farm that I, had, that I got permission on this summer before I moved to Iowa. And this is only the second time I've hunted this farm, so I'm still learning it, but we came in here and pretty much trimmed this whole cedar tree and I think we're in a pretty good spot I just don't like the conditions we're in right now we have a cut cornfield to our west and the plan is or the, our theory is that these deer are bedded in this draw in front of us and they're gonna feed out to this cut cornfield to our west it was just picked within two days ago so that's our theory. Hopefully the plan works out. I see him. I'm, no, I'm shooting up for sure. Max 
guys were sitting here talking about what to do in the morning. And all of a sudden, Max looks up. And this deer is raking a tree. About 40 or 50 yards away from us. And for the longest time, we couldn't see him. Because we could just see like the lower half of his body. And sometimes it's tines through the cedar tree. eventually walked up on top of this little hill that we're on and it's my fault I don't I don't have my rangefinder and if I would have had my rangefinder and I knew exactly what yardage he was I probably would have taken a shot but I just wasn't comfortable comfortable not knowing the shot but I came in here and scouted this property this summer I found a bed probably 70 to 75 yards away from this tree and I picked out this tree knowing that that bed was right there and I am almost 100% certain that he came from that bed up to us. I'm, I can't say that 100% but I'm fairly certain that he did that. But he eventually, our, our wind is kind of swirly right here and I think he eventually got our wind and it swirled and he buggered out so uh, I don't know that's fun that's, that's I mean it wasn't a giant but it's a pretty good deer I probably would have shot him <laughs> it's like I just shot him like I don't know why I'm shaking so bad we've got about two hours two and a half hours left in our sit uh, we've seen a couple of does get up and kind of feed their way through the WRP. So hopefully they're moving early and often tonight. Same spot as a small buck. It's a better buck. Yeah. Oh, it's the black eyed den. Oh, is it? It's almost six o'clock, and the movement has been great so far. We had a bunch of does and fawns work through the plot, and uh, since there, it's been just a steady line of deer working their way through the the WRP out there. Um, I recognize one buck for sure. I think he's a four-year-old 10. And there's another buck that was squaring up with him that I, I couldn't quite tell. It looked like either eight or nine. It's just a little bit too far to tell if, if we know that deer or not. But it's cool to see that this many deer up and moving. There's, I mean, I could look out there right now and count eight or 10 probably. Like I said, it's not even six. So hopefully that continues. Hopefully one of these good bucks shows up down here. Um, definitely feels like one of those nights. Alright, that's just about going to do it for our hunt tonight. Um, nothing else really came out close. I can still see a bunch of deer feeding up there to the north of us. But that's all right, that should hopefully mean we'll get out of here clean. Just gotta figure out how to get out and around these deer. But overall, solid night. It was good to be in the tree. Um, I'm really looking forward to this next week. I think with uh, the timing of the year being late October and the weather we have coming, we're hopefully gonna have some really good hunts. So probably be back in the tree tomorrow night.